All right, another challenge with the Mercedes AMG SLS. The AMG SLS is a beautiful car. It uh, might not have the best acceleration. It has very good power, but it's challenging to get it around corners. And I think that's partly due to the fact that it doesn't have these large aero devices that you can see with all the other cars here. So as you can see, this one has a real racing fuse. I just have a little spoiler that must slightly improve the uh, awkwardness of bringing this around the track, but it's, it's not a big deal, you know. So, having played this race a couple times and seen it develop, uh, I can tell what's going to happen here. We're going to easily pass these cars, and then there's going to be an X-Bow and an SLS in front of us. As long as we get, well, I guess we got ahead of the X-Bow, but the SLS is kind of our guy, because, and as we just hit him right there, um, he, first of all, is, is extremely <laughs> uh, eager to keep his position, as is everybody else here, apparently. Uh, but also, the other thing is that he's the one that's going to keep the X-Bows from going forward, because this X-Bow is a lot quicker than most of us. But... If, for some reason, one or the other Mercedes of us can stay ahead of the x mouse then we can be wide enough to keep the x mouse from getting ahead. If we can keep them from getting ahead, then we have a possibility of getting in third position. Uh, first and second position are, are far for, forlorn, forgone. You can see here this is a real struggle. It's keeping it in on track in the long curves. It's extremely difficult. I just gotta say, especially on cold tires, we're operating on borrowed time here. It's a matter of time before the uh, AMG in front of us makes a mistake. And once he gets past, once he gets past, we won't be able to catch back up to the X-Bow at all. Because we're quicker in straights, but the fact that he's so much more maneuverable in turns just makes him pretty much unattainable overall. So we have got to, we have got to nail him in one of the places before the AMG. So, doing the best I can here to get around him, to turn around him one way or the other, to outmaneuver him, but it's not always obvious what you can do. However, we do man maintain, manage to maintain our speed and stay ahead of him. So the only challenge here will be, before Renzio, to make sure that we're able to not outpace ourselves, and nor get outbreaked by the AMG in front of us, which we do. And we have a great exit, which should give us the ability to gain a position if we use our speed wisely. If he goes across the track, thank you very much. We're going to take the better position. We're looking for the sign here, which is about where we need to break. So if I had operated a bit more wisely, I might perhaps have stayed in front of the guy before breaking. But, in any case, this prevents any accidents. Um, as you've noticed, this race has been full of little wheel-hitting incidents. Our body panels are not being preserved. But our position should be preserved right now. So as long as we keep the x bows behind us, either me or the other SLS, which is even better, then we can go for... Uh, second and, uh, I'm sorry, we can go for third position. Second and first position are way ahead of us by now. So that's not in our, on our radar. So let's just try to stay on track, if we can. That's the first thing. Second thing is shift on time. But uh, the other thing I was also make sure to keep an ideal line to the curves, which I have done an awful job of showing right now. 
But we just need to make sure we're slowing down and speeding up at the right times. That helps us to hit the apexes. As long as we hit the apexes, pretty much don't get passed on this track. That's what I figured out. No matter your speed, look at all these people up behind us. <laughs> We're like the traffic jam in the middle of a racetrack. We're 5 o'clock traffic on a speedway. It doesn't make any sense. But we're still making it. We're still getting ahead because we're in third position. And we're smart on the braking zones. And we're able to get ahead of people. Let's just make sure that we don't make any stupid mistake. We're going to keep it straight as long as possible here. Accelerate as fast as we can. Which I struggled to do, but I still did my best to do. And make sure we don't miss a braking zone. Here, we're going to slowly ease into this braking zone here. Turn into it. And you see how that's simple? The, you can just relax because the car behind you is not going to catch up with you. And our next zone here, we should actually gain some time. Because we seem to be a, quite a bit faster by braking here, downshifting twice, going up the hill. It's not quite like an F1 car with the aerodynamic effects. You do have to brake and downshift when you go uphill. You can't keep full throttle. But, it still seems to be a place where we have the advantage. Now the SLS might be struggling with his two guys. We just must not miss this braking zone here. As time goes on in this track, I notice that I tend to be able to brake much more easily in that first braking zone. Uh, I guess because the tires are warmer and the brakes are warmer. So, that being the case, we are more comfortable to brake slightly later. But, you know, don't go too far. But if you make a mistake, it's less tragic. So otherwise, it'll kind of end up in the, <coughs> the, the, the dead zone over there, or whatever you call that. So here we go. Got a good acceleration out of that corner. I would have wished I had shifted on time, but it's not a big deal. Here we should be able to we just need to make sure that we're not overextending our speed. Because otherwise you get understeer and you're not able to get back on track. So I think that was reasonable. That's uh I love to see that. We were maximizing the track limits, which is always good to see and do. We've got to be wise around these terms, not to overextend our speed, but to stay at the right speed. Just enough so that we can get around quickly. Not enough so that we're being tossed away from the apex a bit like we were here. Now, it's not an irrecuperable, an irrecuperable error as we are enlarging our radius down there to gain a passive speed on the exit of the second corner. Okay, so, apparently one x got through the SLS. So he'll be catching up to us really soon. And that means that we just have to stay ahead and not make any mistakes that are of great concern at least. So we're on third lap out of four. That means we have a whole entire lap that we must just be pretty much flawless or more or less flawless in our execution. I'm going to accelerate as quickly as I can here and try to just maintain my position. I know my braking points now pretty well. We brake just a little bit after these rubber marks. Brake slowly at first. Going, accelerate like this, smoothly get out of the way, and he's still behind us, so we're in no trouble at all. Just gotta break slightly before that um, that first apex there. Just gonna break here, double downshift quietly, and then accelerate out of that, and extend the track as wide as we can. And here we have the speed advantage, so there's no worry. All we gotta do is through the bright morning sun. Focus on the left side of the track, where the first panel, after which we break, is found. And just slowly make sure we reach the right speed. We're hearing the tires working out, which is fine, as long as we're not understeering. Here we can accelerate smoothly. As you see, we get gained on. We're not going to panic. We're just going to stay on the right side as much as we can. Just make sure that the X-Bow cannot reach us at the apex. 
We don't need to optimize speed in this case. We just need to optimize our position. We just need to make sure that he, he can insert himself at a place desperately that would uh, make it dangerous for us to lose our position. So here, we make significant headway in terms of speed, but then in this sector, we're likely going to lose out a little bit on speed. But as our tires are warmed up, we're able to keep our speed a lot higher than we can in the beginning of the race, which is fairly confusing to be honest. It's uh, very different from the beginning to the end of the race, what you can do around that particular corner. So as you can see, he's trying to get around us, but we're just going to stay frustratingly on the apex and make it so that it's just impossible to get around us, even if he's technically quicker. So here, we're just going to cut off that mistake that we made, which he would definitely have benefited from. Move in the way, make sure he doesn't pass us. He has to break in that occasion, and that just completely cuts off his momentum, which means we can keep on hauling to victory, even though we're hauling slowly compared to that guy. Just gonna make sure that we kind of hit that apex there, around here. And then right after the white line, we break. Keep more to the right side, just so he doesn't get past me in any way, shape, or form. There we go. And we cut off all puts possibility. Now, I think the line is here. Start line is there. And that's the end of our race. We make it in third position. And that's all we need.